We all know it. You are just one click away from accidentally deleting your notes. Yes, you can still recover it for some time, but why not avoiding this whole risk by doing a proper backup? In this video, I want to show you a simple shortcut which can back up all your notes in just a second. So let's do it. Before actually going to the shortcuts app, let's create a standard folder where you will save all of your notes files, your backup folder. For demonstration, I'll just create it on the desktop but you can make it anywhere in your documents folder and name it as you wish. And now it's already the time to open the shortcuts app. Here click on this button to create a new shortcut. I'll name this notes backup. Alright, we have to start by searching for the notes. So the first step is to add an action called find the notes. If you want to backup all your notes, you can just leave it like this. But you can also add a filter and select only specific keywords or specific notes folders for a backup. I really have many notes, so for this video I will just select my work folder. It's not actually saving the folder, so you need to loop through each one of these items. So type here repeat and use repeat with each. It automatically selects all the notes within the selected folder. Now I can just create PDFs from them and I'm done. But I want to add one more middle step because this shortcut is considering only the notes titles. So if you have two notes that have the same title, maybe something like meeting, it might copy the note over the other. To prevent that, let's get files details to divide these notes. So I will search for action called get details of files and add it right here. You have many options here, but I think it makes sense to use the last modified date. So the notes are sorted by the date of your last edits. Now, when we have this sorted, add a format to the date, so it also looks good as a file name. If you click on show more, you can create your own custom date format. But to make it simple, I will keep the short date format and select the time to none. Now everything is set up. So we can add a key action to make files from our notes, to make PDFs. So add the action under the formatted date. It has to go in this position, but of course we are not going to make PDFs from the formatted date. So right click it here and change that to the repeat item. And the last step is to save the created files. So let's add the last action, which is called save files. It will be saving the files wherever you want. But to properly manage it, click on show more and deselect ask where to save. Instead, I can set it up to the folder I have created in the beginning of this video and automatically save all the notes into my backup folder. Again, this is optional step. You can just leave it to be asking you every time where you want to save it. But I like my shortcuts to be really just one click actions. The sub path here is used to create the names of your files. We have done that before, so let's just right click it and insert the variables. First is the formatted date, then make space and do the same again. Right click or control click it here and go to insert variables. This time add the repeat item, which should be set to name. Now just two more clicks, check the tick box overwrite if file exists. This will make sure that every time you use this shortcut, it will replace the old backups with the new notes. And the second click is to the subscribe button. That will make sure you will not miss any other tips in the future videos. But let's test it out now. Click on the play button. The first time you run this is going to ask for permission to make sure it can write these files. So confirm that and soon you will find out that all the notes are appearing in your backup folder. At this stage I would also recommend to have the notes app open. It can sometimes show an error if the app has not been open for some time. And to make it even easier, 
you can click here on the info button and pin this action into the menu bar. So next time you want to back up your notes, you don't even need to open the shortcuts app. You can just do it with one simple click from the menu bar. As you can see, I already have quite a lot of shortcuts created here. So if anything catches your eye, go check it out on the channel because I have made tutorials about all of them. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.